Bulls with some big nights here this evening. One bull in particular made a, a huge statement. Let's talk about that bull this evening. Which bull? Heartbreak kid. Uh, uh, heartbreak kid. He's been, you know, he moved, uh, moved him to the left-hand delivery about a month ago. And since then, he's lowest score is like 45 and a half. So it's, it's been working good. Um, and I thought he had a great day today as well. So did the judges, 46 and a half points today. Coming into this World Finals, did you, and I mean, we'll, we'll talk candidly and ask, uh, did you think this bull had a chance to win this world title? Uh, he's my best shot, you know, I thought coming in. He was two and a quarter behind a smooth operator coming in here. And, of course, he just gained a quarter. So uh, he's still got a, a steep hill to climb to get ahead of smooth operator. Right. So it's just going to boil down to um, which one shows the best. And I've got to beat him, you know, where Heartbreak Kids got out scoring, you know, by a bunch to, to win a title. But he's my best shot, I think, coming in. There's two other bulls that you have that I want to talk about before we bring the riders up here. The other, obviously, being Bruiser. There was a lot of speculation about, you know, everything that has happened this year with Bruiser. And, and you mentioned on our Right Pass broadcast that you hadn't bucked him. No, you I, and you know, that's not, that's not a, I didn't set it up the best for him. You know, he's always better if he's road ready. You know, if he's been two or three, four weeks in a row, it seems like that's when he really shines. And uh, with him be, getting sick like he did, he, we just didn't have that opportunity. And he really just last week uh, made the decision to bring him and buck him. And he was like three and a half or a quarter out of the lead. So... I was pretty, you know, I knew it was going to be a long shot for him to come and win his fourth world title, but but uh, I, I felt like he was in good enough shape to perform well, and he did. I, I wasn't disappointed, but I would have liked to have had another month, at, you know, to have him more prepared. But I can tell you this, Cody Teal was not disappointed in that no, bowl tonight. He was lucky enough to go 91 points on him. Right. And I seen Cody had him, and I felt like uh, Bruiser had his work cut out for him because Cody's had him before and, and about got it by him before. And, and he made a great ride. I want to ask you about one more bull, and that is the bull Danny Boy that we saw at the end of the night bring down Jose Vitor Lemmy, uh, a bull that a lot of, of PBR fans might have seen for the first time tonight, but ultimately a bull that might have played a very, very crucial part in the uh, conclusion of this world title race. Yeah, it, it tightened it up a little bit. but uh, And that bull has always got a hole right there. He turns back and tries to drop him off in there. And I knew that was going to be the only chance he'd have to buck Lemmy off was if he dropped him off in there, right around there. And that's what happened. But, you know, he's a good bull. But, uh, you know, uh, Lemmy will ride him nine times out of ten. But today he didn't get around the corner in good enough shape. I want to bring up a couple of guys to join you right now. One of them we've already mentioned. That is Cody Teal. Cody Teal. Uh, Third in the round tonight with 91 points aboard Bruiser. Joining him is the round winner, Cody Jesus. 92 points aboard Little Two Train. And I want to start with you, Cody Teal. Uh, we just heard from HD talking about seeing your name next to Bruiser. How excited were you when you saw that come out? Oh, really excited. You know, that's just a big opportunity when your name's next to Bruiser because you know we have a dang good shot to win. You know, and he's got the best of me three times before. Um, He's never easy, that's for sure. Just lucky to get by today. Cody Jesus, big, big ride tonight, bouncing back 92 points to win the round. You know, you talk about the $35,000, the 300 points, but I want to talk about that that you just set down in front of you. How special is that buckle? It's very special, you know. I think I'm going to sleep by it tonight. I didn't think I had a ride like that in me. I mean, my confidence has been beat to the ground and with it with my groin injury bother me it's just very special to get around win tonight there was some emotion tonight I, I i felt like you were trying to hold back a little bit of emotion because that meant so much to you yes sir and that's how it's been i mean i come from a place where you know i i dream of this i mean i was a really poor kid and you know i had to work to get all my bull riding gear and to be on the biggest stage of bull riding and went around like that, it's just very special to me. Proud of you. Thank you. Open it up for any questions. Uh, hopefully you guys have a lot, because if you don't, I do. Yes, ma'am, right there in the front. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> um, are you still slated for surgery? 
Um, I haven't got my MRI yet. The the doctors at uh, the Indian Hospital they they need to get a special doctor in there for that. So I got one scheduled for after the finals. First of all, uh, tell everybody what's going on. What you're looking at? Uh, I'm looking at surgery after the finals for my groin. Tandy, uh, me and Tandy talked it over, and he said be best bet to get an MRI and see what's really going on with my groin and maybe surgery if needed. If not, I mean, I'm hoping not, but that's. I'm kind of, you know, scared. I'm, I don't want no surgery to happen, and I just, it's feeling a lot better now, and just hoping for the best. Yes, ma'am. I just block it out of my mind. I've been feeling real good, you know, just eating all my vegetables, eating the right foods, and just drinking a lot of water and doing a lot of stretching for it. So it's feeling a little better this week. Thank you. Uh, you can go ahead and have that end seat down there. <laughs> Jess Lockwood joining us here tonight made a, a big, big move uh, in this world title conversation. Now, just 609 points behind Jose Vitor Limi. If it was all said and done right now, the points that he would accumulate in tonight's round plus the aggregate, again, keep in mind, there is a lot left to happen here in Vegas. But if it were to end right now, I believe mathematically that would be your world champion. But we know that we still have four more rounds of competition, and uh, Jose does not come down very often. Uh, I'll s start with a quick little question there for you, Lockwood. How much, like, how much pressure are you putting on yourself right now? I try not to put too much. Uh, seems like each night. I've been here four times now. Um, I'm going into it kind of calm, cool, and collected. I've been in a couple world title races, so I'm not going to say that I'm not nervous, but I see I feel pretty pretty good. We were together a lot when you when you made your world title run. I'm seeing a much different energy this week. It feels like you have uh, a bigger energy every single time you nod your head. Are you more focused this week on winning a world title than you were the season you won it? I think so. Uh, I was a kid back then and kind of just having fun and in the moment. And Not that I'm not too old now, but uh, I'm married. I got my family here with me. Um, I'm a lot more mature in my riding, consistent. So it, uh, I think it just makes a difference there. Nicely done tonight. 91 and a half points aboard Spotted Demon. Talk to us about that bull. I've been on that bull a couple times, and he's handed me my butt a couple times, but... Uh, I'm a little more mature in my riding. He's a little older. He bucked hard still, and he let me stay on this time is all I can say. Uh, I told you guys I was going to be a little bit selfish tonight because these are four guys that I have the utmost respect for. I want to come back to you, Cody Teal, real quick, and I want to talk to you about uh, how special is it tonight, last night, tomorrow night, this entire World Finals to have that little lady with you, your daughter. Oh, yeah, it's everything. It's her, her second trip out here, my daughter, she's... 15 months now, so uh, she's. Uh, it, it definitely makes it a lot more fun having her out here. Who's next? Matt, can we ask a question from the ride past the Yeah, absolutely. From Ethan Brown. Oh, Ethan. So Ethan asks, uh, all of you folks, this is from Ethan Brown from Ride Pass. How does knowing what bull you have in the rank pen a day early help your confidence and game plan for that rank pen? We'll start with you, Cody. All right. Well, um, first, as soon as I got here off the plane, I went to the rider check-in meeting. When you have a bull like I had, Bruiser, you don't have to look. Someone's going to tell you. <laughs> I knew what I had in the second round before I had the first round. So it just takes a little more focus and taking it as far as one bull at a time. And uh, it's hard not to think about it, though. But you just got to stay in the moment and one bull at a time. Hey, Zeus. Uh, <clears throat> I didn't check the draw till this morning. And... Uh, when I saw I had little two train, I knew he threw me off in New York, and <laughs> I just got lucky to get past him today. So I, I don't think about it too much or really check ahead on my draws. I used to, but then I got to setting a game plan for them, so I try not to look at him now. I hate to correct you, but since I'm older and I'm standing up taller than you are right now, you, there was nothing lucky about what you did tonight. Thank you. Nice job. Jess? Kind of the same what Teal said. When you walk in and uh, a couple people know the draw and they know the rank pin they're going to let you know what 
be having the rank pen kind of before the ABBI round, just because it's every single bull in there is notorious for something, and uh, that bull I have, he's been around, around forever, and he's throwing a lot of guys off and not let very many stay on him, so. But you don't go at it any different, I don't think. It's just another bull, and you try to just stay on him. Simple as that. HD, I want to come to you with a, uh, kind of the same question, though. When you see your bulls in the in this lineup and the guys that are next to them, uh, obviously there's going to be emotions there. Um, how do you feel when you see one of those top contenders? Uh, it makes you feel good because, you know, any of these guys here are going to show your bull well. And, and that's part of getting your bull recognized and scored well by the judges is, is having a great bull rider to show, show him off. But... Sometimes these guys will expose one also, you know, yep. so it's kind of a catch-22. Uh, the Bulls have to show well, but, uh, you know, if they got a hole in them or a little weakness, uh, a great bull rider will show that too, so that can, they can work against you also. We have the best here. Who's next? Yes, ma'am. Microphone right there next okay. to you. Does it say Portuguese or English? No, English. <laughs> okay, good, because I don't think any of these guys speak very good Portuguese. Oh, Cody Jesus, uh, you said before that you came for a full family, and this is a dream to be here. We see right now that you are full of control of your emotions as you were there with the bull. But what is this really inside right now of your emotions and what you're feeling right now? What I'm feeling right now, I don't not too sure it really hasn't sunk in yet you know i keep looking at this buckle and everything i worked for everything i ever did you know it's it paid off right here and i'm just ready for the next round next marcus uh-oh we should have just facetimed you um, uh, how does night two of the world finals in the rank pen differ from any other night, given that the biggest scores of all season will probably come up tonight? I mean, I don't, I don't know. I think I can speak maybe for a lot of these guys. I think this is one of the rankest pins of bulls that we've ever seen assembled. I mean, when you look at it start to finish, there is, there's an incredible amount of bull power. Bulls that all year long, no matter where they're at, they're in the championship round. When you look at the top three scores from tonight, 92, 91, and 90, or 92, 91 and a half, and 91 points. Cody Teal rode a three-time world champion bruiser for 91 points and was third in the round. I think that says a lot, and I think that that speaks volumes about how good these bulls were. When you look down the list, you know, there were some big numbers. There were some obvious, you know, it's bull riding. There were some, some bulls that didn't have the days they wanted to have, but uh, you expect that. But when you look at the consistency, I think this is one of the best pins we've ever seen. Anybody else? That it? All right, guys. Well, first, uh, congratulations. Congratulations to HD. Great night with his bulls. Continued success from the Page family. Uh, Cody Teal, nice, nicely done. Top three aboard Bruiser, 91 points. That is worth 125 world points and $15,000. Far in, Jess Lockwood, Spotted Demon, 91 and a half. That's worth $20,000. More importantly, 180 world points. And Cody Jesus aboard Little Two Train for 92 points worth 300 world points and $35,000 and a Montana Silversmith buckle that says go round winner in the rank pin at the PBR World Finals. Smile, young man. It is well deserved. Thank you guys for being here at night number two of the 2019 PBR World Finals press conference for everybody tuning in at home on Ride Pass. Thank you so much. We will see everybody tomorrow night, round three of the World Finals, right here from Las Vegas.